Hello, I'm Robert Hurlbut, and I'm a Principal Application Security Architect and Threat Modeling Lead at Acquia. In Threat Modeling, one of the easiest ways to get started is to use the four-question framework. The four-question framework was developed by Adam Shostak in 2006, and over the years has been adopted by many groups, including the Threat Modeling Manifesto in 2020. The four-question framework comprises of, of course, four questions. The first question is, what are we working on? In this question, we're really trying to understand the system that we're dealing with, we're trying to protect, we're trying to secure. The great thing about this question is, it can be a large system, it can be a small system, it can be as simple as a story. What are we working on right now? That's the key. The second question is, what could go wrong? That's where we're thinking about those potential problems, those threats. And in that case, what we're trying to understand is, again, what could happen? What's possible here that maybe I hadn't thought about that, again, could go wrong? As I think through that, it helps me identify, again, those threats, which are really the most important part of threat modeling. The third question is, what are we going to do about it? And that's where we're really trying to understand, now that we've identified some threats and problems and issues within our system, is how are we going to deal with those threats we've identified? What are the mitigations? What are the countermeasures? And in those issues and those things that we're thinking about, we're trying to solve them in some cases, or just at least come up with some ideas about how to deal with them to minimize the risk, to minimize the potential harm and impact of those threats if they're realized. In the fourth question, we ask, did we do a good job? And that's where we're going back and reviewing are there any threats that we may have missed? Are there any mitigations or solutions to those threats we may have not thought about? Or maybe they sometimes can uncover new ones. It's really about trying to get to a good, comfortable level of the threat model we're building so that we can say, we did a good job here. So with those four questions, you're on your way to getting started with threat modeling. If you'd like some help or assistance on that, please reach out to us at Acquia.